Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics. And in this video, I'd like to discuss how the chief executive of the Conservative Central Operations, Stephen Massey, stunned Tory party campaign staff by admitting that they were going to lose the election and were preparing to lose it really very badly. Tory staff were understandably impressed with the winning mentality there. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel. So, yes, OK, it's easy for me to stand here and say that the Tories are going to lose the election. The polling's like nothing I've seen before. The Tories regularly shoot themselves in the foot by doing the opposite of what swing voters want them to do. So the reality is they are in a losing position and they're not even getting their strategy right to improve things. But as I've said several times before, I would be appalled if I learned that Labour MPs or Labour staff had this attitude. They've got to keep pushing as if they were only a little bit ahead in the polls. That's because I'm like a football supporter in the stands. I'm not influencing the results. So if my team's doing well, I can sit back and go, oh, this is brilliant, we're going to win. The players on the pitch, though, have to, as Al Pacino once said, fight for every inch. Well, the same mentality surely has to exist for Conservative campaign staff and advisers. I, I can ridicule Tories when they blindly state that they have a shot in the election. But it is the attitude they have to take. If you don't believe you can win, you certainly cannot. Hence the shock from Tory party staff, as reported in the Mirror, when their CEO dropped a bit of a bombshell. Stephen Massey, who was appointed chief executive by Rishi Sonic last November a man who donated to Rishi Sunak's leadership campaign, I'm sure that was pure coincidence, of course, as was the £343,000 he donated to the Conservative Party. So how does Mr Massey think his first year as chief executive for the most successful political party in history has gone? Well, yesterday he was reported to be addressing all staff. So these are the staff who are running the Conservative election campaign. CCHQ, which is Conservative Campaign Headquarters. The staff who are exploring every avenue to try to improve the appeal of the Conservative Party, mostly by trying to distract voters from what their poorly trained chimps in Parliament are getting up to. Massey apparently told them that he'd been seeking advice from the National Party in New Zealand on how to get back into power after losing badly. Only doing this presupposes that the Conservatives are going to lose and lose badly. Massey was as good as telling CCHQ staff that all the hard work they're currently putting in is not, is not expected to achieve very much, if anything. Though I'm sure he expects them to keep putting that effort in for as long as Sunak delays the election. And according to the Mirror, one source said that the statement went down like a lead balloon. I'll bet it did. I mean, let's go back to the football analogy. Imagine you're a football fan and you're learning, you've, you, your team's been thrashed, right? And you're learning that the coach at halftime, their pep talk was to tell the players that it's going to be a complete disaster, one of their worst results ever, but to still expect them to go out and play the second half. Just don't bother with the belief that you can turn it around. I can't imagine fans of that team would be impressed with the coach's management skills there. And I wonder what Tory party activists and Tory MPs think of it. I mean, there are Tory MPs counting on some magic from the campaign staff to help them retain their seats. Imagine finding out that their boss has told them they're going to lose badly when the election hasn't even been called yet. Now, there is a sense in which once you've lost badly, yes, you absolutely want to talk with sister parties who found themselves in a similar situation and came back. Labour are working closely with the US Democrats, for example, in terms of preparing to win an election and for government afterwards. Political parties do work with like-minded groups around the world to learn best practice. And I can appreciate some sense in learning these lessons well in advance of the election result in order to, you know, hit the ground running once the results have been confirmed. You could even do it as a sort of contingency. But there are issues. Like the first is, you certainly don't tell people that you've been doing this. You absolutely do not tell the people whom you need motivated to fight for every vote in order to at least lessen the loss. If you want the best out of people, you've got to have them believe they can succeed. They may not succeed, 
But if they're really motivated, they won't do stunningly badly either. And the second point is that Massey is unlikely to be in position shortly after the election anyway. Actually, after this escapade, it would be surprising if he's still in position at the end of this week. But, but when the election is lost badly, the Tories, as unpredictable as they are, are still going to do something that is entirely predictable. Get rid of everyone deemed responsible. That will, of course, include the leader, who will probably be more than happy to cut and run. And will also include the failure of a chief executive who was appointed by the failure of a leader. So it will be a different team running things anyway, as the Tories look to rebuild. They can still hold those conversations with their sister parties around the world, but it will be other people doing it. Utter madness. But it does show that at the very top of the Conservative Party, the top of their campaign infrastructure, there's no belief. And I'll add something else to finish with as well. I've not seen signs of a Tory MP backlash against Massey for this. Maybe it just hasn't filtered through to the news yet. But let's say that this report is where the story begins and ends. What will that say about the parliamentary party? Because right now, you've got some MPs who are clearly desperate to remove Sunak. They're going to look for any excuse to undermine him. Why wouldn't they attack Massey for what he said? After all, he's part of Team Sunak. As for Tory MPs without an ulterior motive, well, why wouldn't they be upset anyway? Like, imagine knowing that the head of your campaign headquarters is happy to tell party staff, yeah, we're working on uh, plans for after the election. Oh, for when we're in government again. No, for when we lose really badly. Yeah, so we're working on the idea that we're going to lose really badly and we're going to try and come back to power in the next 10 years after that. Before the election's even begun. If I were an MP and that were my party's chief executive, I would want them replaced immediately. Wouldn't you? What will it say about Tory MPs if he remains in post after this? That maybe they don't think they can win either. And more than that, that they don't think it's even worth trying. That the aim has to be working on the following election because the next one's already lost. That would be an interesting attitude to have. Because political campaigning is very much like sport only it's uh, more important. It's really hard when you're looking down and out, but belief is still vital. How many times have we seen unexpected results in sport and in politics fueled purely by not giving up? Still, rather the Tories give up that, uh, that notion of winning than my party of choice Labour. Been there, wasn't very nice. But there we are, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.